Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on Channington Challenge and I'm still in the process of harvesting field one. Half past three in the afternoon so I want to see if we can get this harvest before it gets too dark. Get this done. Down to fields 10. Tony should be with us today, hopefully, or tomorrow. With a harvester. So, hopefully, we get a phone call from him soon. Hundred percent. Cracking on with the harvest. Get in there. Not looking, uh, you know, it's not taking as long as I, as I thought it would be. Stop there for that one. I hope everyone's heard about the, the good news on the official release date of Farming Simulator 17. Civil TV made me aware of it and then Lambie Kid released a video and then a few hours later so did Dagoin so everyone seems to be releasing a video about the release date but I just thought I'd mention it within the Let's Play series instead of making a, a video on it. Um, oh, someone's already done that, you know, so if you want to check those videos, guys, um, please look at the description below. Uh, Landy Kids and Dagger Wins video links will be in there for those official release date videos, what they've made. Um, so yeah, I think it's 27th of October. Farming Simulator 17. I don't know what I'm looking forward to the most. Farming Simulator 17, or the fact that Silver TV is doing Ings Farm for Farming Simulator 17. Either way, I think it's going to be pretty interest, interesting to to see what it's all about. We're definitely going to be doing a, a first look video on on it. I am pre-ordering the game. So I'll do a first look of the maps, loading up all the machinery, looking at a few tractors, taking for a spin, 
trying out some stuff. So yeah, looking forward to it. Also, Farming Simulator's official website um, has had a new look to it, or rather has got a new look to it. It's a lot more um, sleeker, modern, newer. Definitely more modern. So this. They're definitely stepping up the game, our uh, giants and so forth. Gonna have to go into the crop. Getting some old seed rape in storage. Which is always good. Alright, we'll crack on. 22,630 in the bank. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And we've yet to pay out, hopefully, anything from 15 to 25, I said to him, I think. Or 35, something like that. For a harvester. So we'll see what he's got for us. Start on this field, really. We've got some more. I think, do, do we buy two cows? We've got 12 cows now, so yeah, remember doing that. So that should put the productivity a little bit, the uh, income the money we get for the milk. Productivity is still sat at 90%. We do need a food mixer though, we can take it to 110. Someone did mention uh, in the comments that you don't, you only have to give a mixed ration of water and straw to get 100%. Um, but I like to give them silage and grass as an extra. I think it just... Uh, I feel better for giving them additional stuff, if that makes sense. So I was going to cut some of it out, but I thought, you know, let's do a harvest over a few episodes. Let's do a full harvest together. Get this done. Get it in storage, and then we can get the. In the meantime, we'll get be getting the uh, the harvester as well at some point. Hopefully, we can finish this field up with it. The new one. Um, I'm in two minds, guys. Whether to take this harvester 
down to Meadow Valley or do I just sell it? No. I've no idea what we'll get for it. 17 and 3 for the header so I mean we'll get a bit more for it I guess if we, if we sell it directly as well you know with uh, at the actual shop. So do we keep it to get down to Meadow? Will it get used? Do we need to do the harvesters down there or do we do you think we'll have enough money by then later on when we start to consider to harvest some fields further on on the map down there fields you know 15 and 33 31 32 whatever we put in them 27 14 do you think by that time we get round to purchasing some of those fields you know we'll have a bit be able to get another harvester you know a bigger one percent full. It's just the right size this uh, wagon for now. This trailer. I think the Ford's having a bit of a hard time pulling it and it's only 42% full so we'll have to see what it's like at full and there's no front weight. Okay. on with this uh, making quite a big headway. I thought it'd take a lot longer than this. But it's not. I'd love to buy a field too and put corn in that, but just can't afford a field. Nowhere near. We really need to start thinking about paying off the loan. Five grand here, five grand there. Or do we just save up fifty grand and pay it off? Then we you know, then we've got the uh, additional problem of putting net profit of 1.5 million in the bank somehow. It's going to be on the way back up again. Um, what we're going to put in this field next? I think we should keep them as they are. Keep it as canola. No, fields, yeah, fields one, 45 as all seed rate, you've got your barley, six, your wheat in nine, just keep them like that, and then obviously you've got your corn in ten and thirty-four, do it like that, just keep it like that.
95, 96, 97, 8, 9, Okay, back in the Ford. Fifty per cent. So another what, four or five runs out in full. And it's what, one, two, three, so yeah. It's not too bad. It's definitely struggling a little bit, is the, uh, is the Ford pulling. Carrying on with the harvest. most popular harvester? Is it class, the manufacturer? i tell you what I uh, saw the other day on the way up to see my dad um, on the A19 um, I saw a Fent a 313 small tractor but one of the, you know, one of the newer ones uh, looks brilliant so, I wonder if there's any 300 series of fence out, which would be good. Start going down to Meadow Valley soon when we take the straw bales and the hay bales. And get a couple of tractors for down there, a couple of mowers and a front loader. And start um, thinking about some root crops and get some pigs and beef in. Close, right at the end. Really cracked on with this harvest. Just under half, would you say? Or about half. Hmm. It's a very dull colour look to it, does all seed rape. In this map anyway.
by the way. I think I might do the rest off screen. And uh, get it all in storage. And on the next episode. We should be ready for Fields 10. And I hope we get a phone call off him in the next episode because we've not had one this episode and we're coming towards the end of this episode at the moment. And uh, see what kind of uh, harvesters on the list, I'll just pick one and whatever price is, if we've got enough money we'll, uh, we'll do that. So it's coming up to 10 past, quarter past 5 in the evening. I'll get this done before 8, hopefully. And uh, it should be just time for us to then cycle through. New day. Sell two more bales and that will go towards it. If we haven't got enough money, we'll sell this. Harvester as well. And uh, get the harvester we want. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.